native of Winchester, Tennessee, is one of three finalists in this year's American Idol competition. And News 2's Chelsea Bindfor is live tonight in Winchester, where the Franklin County area is celebrating her homecoming. And this outpouring of support, Chelsea, is huge. It's huge, Haley. There are so many people down here. That hometown parade started a few minutes ago. We saw a lot of local businesses, cheerleaders, marching band, still waiting for Hunter Girl to make her appearance. But take a look at all these people here that are in downtown Winchester. We are starting to see a few more floats coming through, but have not seen Hunter Girl yet. But all these people have been out here for hours, lining the streets. They brought their chairs, their signs. The local coffee shop is giving out drinks that have her face on the cups with a sticker. This morning, Hunter Girl was also presented with a key to the city and a plaque from MTSU, making her an honorary professor. Some families tell us their schools even let out early so their kids could come down and experience this. Everyone's so happy to be here and support their hometown girl. Here's what a few kids had to say about why they want Hunter Girl to be the next American Idol. She's pretty, but also my sister played softball with her when she was younger, so... My sister and my mama knows her very well, so. Have you met her before? No, not really. I'm excited. Hana Girl is really awesome. What do you like about her? She, she was being nice and doing something really cool for our town. Everyone is so excited here in Winchester that the next American Idol could be a local. So after this parade finishes up here, she's going to be heading down to the Twin Creeks Resort and Marina. And I do think that is her there at the end of this line of cars. Yep, that's her. We see her back there on a float with a big guitar in the background. She's wearing a sparkly jacket, and she just looks like she's having so much fun waving to all her fans. Of course, her family is here, friends here that she grew up with in high school. Uh, and it, <laughs> she looks like she's having a great time. And uh, once she rolls through here, she will be heading uh, down the street a little bit to put on a concert for all these folks here in Winchester. That's going to be taking place at the Twin Creeks Resort and Marina. And we will be sure to try and get you some pictures from there for News 2 at 6. Back to you guys in the studio. Chelsea, I know you haven't spoken to her, but you think Hunter was surprise this was supposed to be a quick drive through and looks like all the town has shown up. Oh my gosh, Bob, we thought this was only going to last like five minutes and the parade has been going on for at least half an hour with all these other local businesses and stuff that came through first. So yeah, I think she's taking her time trying to talk to as many people as possible. She honestly looks a little emotional. I mean, I would be too. There's so many people that came out here to support her. Hey, you know, enjoy the moment. I mean, how many times is this going to happen when you have a parade in your honor? Maybe if she wins again, but yeah. even if she doesn't, what a great tribute. I mean, the community obviously relishing in her so a little bit of stardom here and obviously it means a lot to her too and her, you know her parents are just just so excited to see this well there she goes up downtown winchester you can watch hunter girl compete in american idol in the finale this sunday night at seven o'clock here on news 2.